Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. So today we're going to talk about some maintenance on this gas fire. So this is our demo unit and we're going to go through and do a series of maintenance on it. So um, we're going to go through and show you all the different steps we're going to do on the maintenance and then basically tell you what the uh, tools are and replacements and such. So first thing we're going to do is we want to check all the seals, the silicone seals. So we've got seals in the reactor, seal on the filter lid. We've got these black silicone seals exiting off the filter, uh, going into the filter. We've got the high temperature silicone seals coming out of the heat exchange going into the cooling assembly. We've got another one down there going into the condensate tube. So we're going to check all the silicone, uh, make sure uh, that they're not uh, damaged or need replaced. Um, then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through with all the drain uh, <clears throat> cleanout ports. So I've got four cleanout ports. I've got one on the reactor, one on the filter, one on the bottom of the heat exchange, one on the back of the heat exchange. And on that, I'm just going to use a shop vac and go in there and uh, basically suck out any of the uh, uh, activated charcoal uh, that, that might be in there. Um, then the next thing I do while I have the uh, clean out ports open. I'm going to take a wire brush on the threads and I'm going to put some uh, anti-seize lube on it uh, to keep the uh, keep it from seizing up. I'll also do that on the ignition port. Anything that's got a thread, I'll go ahead and take off the um, the ball joints, the one and a half inch ball joint, uh, ball valve, excuse me, uh, the two inch ball valve. We'll take that off. Use a wire brush on the threads and then go ahead and put some uh, anti-seize lube on that. Here again in, on the uh, flare port. Uh, so anything that's got that, we'll go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to go in the back and I'm going to drain on the condensate tube here. On the bottom, we've got a three quarter inch clean out on the bottom. I'm going to drain any condensate that's collected in the tube there. And then also we have another condensate area up here in the reactor. I'll look in there if there's any moisture in there, I'll drain that out as well. Um, Let's see, okay, and then finally, what we'll go through is we'll look, we'll kind of clean it up. You can see here we've got dirt and grime. We've got some areas with a little bit of rust. What we'll do is we'll clean all that up, uh, the rust here, and then we'll use uh, some touch-up paint to touch up all the uh, paint areas and, and rust. So basically what we've got here is when we do the clean-out ports, this is what we're going to be getting this activated charcoal is actually the byproduct from the gasification. This is what you're going to get. Um, we can actually use this uh, in our garden. We can use this for water filtration. There's lots of different uses for uh, activated charcoal. Uh, we've got the wire brush for the threads. We'll clean off all, all the ball valves. Um, we'll clean the threads on the uh, clean out ports, put some anti-seize lube. So what I use for the anti-seize lube is I use this copper coat anti-seize lube, it's high temperature, uh, anti-seize lube. Any of the uh, silicone adapters that need replaces, I got these. These are rated at about uh, three, 350 degrees. Uh, the orange ones are rated at 500 degrees. Um, then if I have to replace any of the silicone seals, we use this three quarter inch high temperature silicone cord. This is in the lid of the reactor and the lid of the filter. Uh, if I need to replace the seal on the filter basket, i use this one inch silicone cord. This is also called fire rope. Then also on the uh, filter basket itself, we'll take out the uh, coarse material, the straw or hay. Uh, we can throw that in our compost bin or garden. And then the foam filters that are on top of that, we can just take those and wash them out with a hose or replace them if they need, if need be. So. Uh, once we start getting into this, we'll pull the filter basket out and we'll start going through, touch everything up, uh, and then get everything ready for the next round of uh, running some wood gas. All right. Okay, so starting on the reactor here, if we open up the lid, we take a look, take a look at our silicone cord. And you can see it's actually in pretty good shape here. I mean, it's got a little bit of black on it, but there's really nowhere wear and tear on it. One of the reasons for that is I use a, a little hack here that uh, I put a separate plate between the lid 
in the reactor. Uh, it's basically just another lid plate. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, all the heat and tars and anything that's going to come out of that is going to hit this plate and stick to the bottom of the plate here. So all that, I can take that out and take that, take a wire brush to that, clean all that off. Uh, but basically it saves, uh, saves a lot of the wear and tear on my silicone seal. So I like to have that in there. It's loose, it's not secured in any way. That way uh, the venting process and the gas fire will still work. So if the gas ignites and creates any pressure, it'll lift that up and it'll still vent through the lid. So I just have it on there as a, as a, as a means of uh, extending the life on my silicone seals. Um, okay. So everything looks good on that. I mean, we'll probably have to take a wire brush and clean that off. Next, we'll go in and take a look at the uh, filter seals. All right, so taking a look at the filter. So I've taken the bolts off the filter, so I'm gonna pop the lid, take it over. So first thing, we'll take a look at the lid. You see we've, the silicone cord's kind of compressed, but it's still in reasonably good shape. It's not melt or abuse, so we could probably leave that in. The lid itself, uh, we've got some rust on the inside, so we'll have to take a wire brush to that, clean that up after. Set that over here for now. Then looking at the filter basket, you can see inside, we've got some rust in here. We can take a lot of that right off with the wire brush, clean that up. Got some rust on the filter basket handles itself. Here are our foam filters. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and take these guys out and then we'll wash them out with a hose. They look reasonably well. And then the coarse material here, see it's kind of moist. We'll go ahead and throw it out in the compost, clean that out. Take the filter basket out completely. We'll go ahead and put a wire brush on it, get it all uh, wiped down, then we'll go ahead and repaint that and get uh, get that ready to go again. Hey everyone, okay, welcome back. Okay, so we finished up our maintenance on the gasifier, so we basically redid the uh, filter basket, put some new uh, straw in there, cleaned out the foam filters, uh, used a wire brush, uh, got rid of the rust, touched it up with some paint. Uh, we went ahead and drained the condensate from the condensate tube. We put in the uh, lube on all the threads. We uh, used the shop vac to clean out uh, clean out ports and basically got about a jar got about a jar's worth of activated charcoal. Went through and touched up areas that had any rust. Put some new paint on it. Uh, we're all ready to go for the next round of tests. See you guys on the next one.